This is a James Poe Artistry Consultant Moment. Good day, Perceptive Readers. I will place a buymeacoffee.com link, the James Poe Artistry one, uh, with this post because uh, hopefully uh, you will find value in this. I hope you had a wonderful morning or night or evening right now, and I hope you're feeling good. I hope you've done some affirmations. I feel pretty good myself this morning. I'm going to make an adjustment to what I was going to do uh, today um, because of a lot of uh, thoughts and meditations uh, th that I've had uh, over the past 24 hours. And so I'm going to actually adjust what I was planning on doing today, uh, but I'll still link it uh and you'll see what I mean, but I'll still link it at least uh, to the page that I was going to focus on today, but my writing. But as I mentioned, I'm just going to uh, do something different. And here is the reason why. You see, if you don't know, you don't know. And, you know, I've always emphasized that. And one thing that I try uh, to help people with as far as with knowledge is still not to have ignorance capitalized on. And here is what I mean. Ignorance can really be taken advantage of. And uh, you've heard me mention in the terms of professionalism as a consultant, uh, there is a fee that you will hear a person mentioned at times that they want. It may be so much per hour. It may be so much per day. But you know what? Persons are found through just basic communicated negotiations. See, that price is not always just set in stone. You see what I'm saying? There's different reasons. There's different circumstances, etc. So you can have a, a just a baseline price but then, as I mentioned before, depending on what is even entailed in the job, for example, you can have some jobs, make no mistake about it. It's like if you take that assignment before the assignment or the project is completed, you may literally be working 18 to 24 hour days. And, you know, that should be factored in that depending on whether it's hard labor or not depending on uh, whether it has something to do with first responders and emergency personnel or not. See, that can actually factor in the price going up and down, even if something is a nonprofit or not. Let me tell you, uh, you may have a person who, you know, their fee may be $100 an hour. OK, let's say it's something like that. And yet, depending on if uh, they're dealing with a nonprofit, guess what? That fee may actually turn to even as low as one dollar to one penny an hour. Isn't that interesting? Uh, but I'm just sharing with you. You don't know. You do not know unless you use professional communications. And so along with that, I want to emphasize to remember a worker is worthy of their wages, no matter what the task, the task is or the assignment is. That's why, I, you know, I mentioned uh, Thomas Sowell. Just a side note on this. If you want to keep the economy continually running in a smooth way and inflation low and things of the nature, I recommend his books. That's a side note. Um, as required reading. And so uh, with that, see, since we're talking about professionalism, you know, I wanted to emphasize uh, today about this. Even though people have different faiths, that you hear persons talking about all the time, that, um, how the faith is supposed to affect every aspect of their life, even professionally, see, even business. And so when it doesn't turn out like that, you know, I've been using the word cheapskate or what have you. Uh, well, 
I want to make sure that I separate now, even though you said, no, oh, Jay, you, you, maybe you don't want to do it, but I'm just doing this really out of respect. I can say, well, you know, you really showing, yeah, yeah you, you show some good qualities as being a humanitarian or a person of faith. But I'm telling you, when it comes to professionalism and business, some persons really need to go back through some type of remedial training and respectful training as to how not to be trying to get over on people. So some people may say, OK, uh, you, you're a fine person in this area, but you're a very, very bad business person, man or woman. And, you know, and, and that's one thing that I was mentioning about uh, even when it comes to uh, certain assignment tasks, experiments, if you will. You, you see, people gain very, very, very valuable information from that type of research. And to actually, like I say, uh, find ways to even get uh information out of a person, intellectual property, and all that type of stuff without showing the proper due respect and correspondence, you know, that that's that's just not right. And now and one of the arguments is, well, we wouldn't really be able to get the information that we want to learn if, if the person fully was uh, you know, um in realization of what was going on behind the scenes. But see, yeah, that's been used as an argument. Well, this is my counter argument to this. I said this once, I said it before, and I stand by it. You might want to do, because no, we, we don't have to know everything. We don't know everything or whatever or otherwise. But I said before, if you want to put some type of sheep, some type of bull, I'm using that expression, you know, a person through that type of categorization to get this or that from them. I said, again, you better take care of your asset. And I don't mean, again, giving them bare minimum. I believe there's a principle here that even God talked about in the book of Micah or Malachi, where he was talking about his position, who he was. Uh, and even if people felt that he was this harsh car, uh, taskmaster or mean boss or whatever, G God was still telling them. And you heard me say this before. God was still saying, even if this is what you call me, you still don't treat me with the respect. You still giving me these broken down this and broken down that lame this, lame that showing you don't you know, you're not paying me. What I should be getting paid. That's what, you know, I'm using this as an analogy. That's like in our terms, what we would say, you're not paying me what I should be getting paid. Um, I, Jehovah was saying, I told you what I require. I told you what I want. And, and, and look at you. It's like Jehovah was saying, all I'm asking for is your best. In this case, even your best in this case would have been okay. You got all these bulls, all these bulls. So you're, you're, you're a thousandaire, you're, you're upper middle class, you're millionaires or whatever. I'm just, you know, I'm just throwing my little, <laughs> my little thoughts in there. And, and yet, so when I even ask you for one of your best bulls and here it is, you got over a hundred in the pen and then you go find a way to, uh, uh, the, the fine one that's dying and weekly and this and that or, or what have you, that's not, that's not paying my fee. You see, uh, that's not giving me what I want, what I requested. So it's the same thing that you know that I was talking about the way people try to get something out of you at times, get things out of you, money, totally rise and stuff like that, that they have no business doing because that is, you know, in another way, which I won't, um, going to it, it really is just doing more than being dishonest, but it, in some cases it's outright just stealing. You see, um, and 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 it certainly shows a great lack of disrespect. And so that's why I say again, even for a spiritual person, if it matters to you and you're doing a lot of stuff spiritually uh, that you can be commended for, well, make your business practices the same way. Make your professionalism. Uh, the same way, you know, to do the best you can. And I said, don't 
Love doesn't look for loopholes to get over on somebody. And and I want to emphasize in closing about, again, protecting uh, uh, your assets. This is what, what I mean, that if you are getting information at times that, you know, that that's just not designed to be with a lot, a lot of direct communications. I told you, people do what they want to do. You got something as simple as a buymeacoffee.com means where, you know, you have anybody, you know, uh, somebody in your company, uh, uh, somebody who's a friend of the family, or whatever, anybody who you could easily just pass that link along and just say, what you think about this? And if the person found some type of affirmation, some type of encouragement for that day or what have you, that gave them, you see what I'm saying, more than an encouragement or motivation to take on the day. I'm, I know that's worth at least a cup of coffee. It is. But see, these are the things at times people are being taught, uh, sadly, too many times on just how to keep disrespecting individuals and, and try to somehow motivate them by always treating them bad, then rather using still positive affirmations in that way and in, in other ways uh, to help move the person along. You see what I'm saying? To help them to see the goodness and even best business practices and professionalism, you see. So that's why I talk about, you know, uh, communication. I talked about uh, recently um, about retainers, what are retainers used for, even for lawyers, you see. Well, consultants fall in that same type of category, and you see, in different fields and occupations. And so the whole point is, sometimes, you know, you might have this, the lawyer or law firm getting paid big time money. Okay. And yet you might have just the person who paying that big time money might just every so many months or so, or what have you might just happen to shoot an email to say, what do you think about this? And then that's when that consultant or that lawyer goes into almost like an overdrive mode you know, for the next 24 hours or so or whatever, and then bam, get them some very inf uh, uh, valuable information. Well, one thing about, um, you know, consultants, it might be like a salary type thing. They know that it may be certain things on the calendar date or what have you, even ahead of time of something uh, um, to be done. But yet they continue to just get paid as a retainer anyway. So whether they got something on their calendar or not, that money is being sent to them, you see. So I gave you different ways through tips, through retainers, or what have you, and even whatever the base price may, may, may be or may not be, it can be negotiated. One thing that I am saying, it should not be used as an excuse not to at least try. Not to at least just try. And I told you, you don't know what could be accomplished if you just treat the person in what you call human and common courtesy ways. Okay. And, and that's the point where we're at right now. You know, you can't fault a person who's professional. And then trying to, like I said, create this type of scenario and even narrative uh, to to make it seem like that person didn't uphold their part of the a bargain or what have you. And it's almost like, you know what? You don't even know what responsibilities that person already had in the first place of what they were doing. So and that's why, you know, I also talk about presumptuousness at times. Uh, you know, you have to do the right thing, uh, if you want the right response, you see. And the person who, who, who don't go along to this type of communication that some persons like to use even in business, uh, well, you know what? I told you, just, it's like, if, if you can't respect it, then leave the person alone. Then just leave the person alone. 
but don't encroach upon their rights and start using what I call even graffiti technical means to be misaligning their websites, misaligning their turning off their videos, or uh, uh, just to make a joke. I mean, um, just doing all sorts of stuff. And why is that supposed to be an uplifting uh, form of communication that that a uh, person's supposed to feel? That really it's all riddled in disrespect? No. Write an email. Be professional. Um, if you don't want to do that, I'm sure you're, you're certainly intelligent enough and very, very intelligent enough to know how to still take care of your asset monetarily. See, without it having to be uh, that, you know, you broke some type of um, um, caste system etiquette or what have you to some persons. You know how to do stuff like that. Do it. Warm regards, James.